Epic Games develops both um, game engines and games, and we build the two together synergistically. So uh, we're constantly pushing the state of the art and technology forward based on actually shipping games and using it for products. Epic and NVIDIA have been working together for years, probably more than a decade now. We love those guys and we have people there virtually every day on site. And out of that partnership, we've uh, created a huge amount of base technology, which is advanced game development. The Samaritan demo, the Elemental demo, the Infiltrator demo, it all arose from collaboration between NVIDIA and Epic. We've been working with them in particular lately on implementing their latest engine, Unreal Engine 4, on NVIDIA's Tegra K1. The cool thing about that is that Unreal Engine 4 is their next generation game engine which exploits things like the DX11 feature set and now that same technology is coming to mobile. So, Tegra K1 is our latest SOC or system on a chip and the most exciting thing about that is that it integrates Kepler, our latest GeForce GPU architecture. It's capable of DX11 class features or OpenGL 4.4, things like tessellation and compute shaders. The great thing about full OpenGL um, on mobile hardware is that we can take absolutely anything that runs on PC or high-end console and run it on the Tegra hardware. From here onward, I think we're going to see the performance um, and feature gap between mobile and PC and high-end gaming uh, continue to narrow to the point where the differences between the platforms really blur. One of the really exciting demos that we've got going on NVIDIA's Tegra K1 is the Reflections demo using Epic's Unreal Engine 4. It does things like real-time reflections, specular highlights, shadows. It uses a bunch of advanced features like cube map arrays and compute shaders to do super sophisticated lighting, and it has a really sophisticated post-processing pipeline for things like blur and depth of field and bokeh to give it a really nice film-like effect. One of the really important capabilities of the game engine is the ability to display very accurate recreations of real life scenes. And we put together the realistic rendering demo to show what a physically accurate scene looks like with the proper reflections and the proper lighting and proper light fall off aimed at simulating reality exactly as opposed to creating a fantastical sci-fi environment. One of the things that's um, pretty high tech is it's doing called high dynamic range rendering. When you look out the window and you get the bright light, it models the pupillary response. Your iris would contract. And then you turn away from the window and you look into darker parts of the room, it takes a little while for your eye to react to less light coming into it and for your pupil to open back up. All of that is modeled entirely in real time with sophisticated compute shaders, so that's pretty cool. NVIDIA has done a really amazing job with Tegra K1, both with the hardware and with the software stack on top of it. I didn't think that we would be at this level on mobile for another three or four years.